Hello everyone, it is Tour Guide Angel. I'm back for another video. If you do not know me, hello, my name is Tour Guide Angel. I am going to my senior year at Pace University as a childhood education major with my concentration in English. And I also plan to go into our five year master's program. We're going to master's in special education. And my long term slash lifetime goal is to open up my own theater company dedicated to children with special education needs. But we're not talking about me for this video. We're talking about quarantine. It's been rough. No, but we first started quarantine at Pace back in March. We were told that our spring break would have been extended. So I was like, cool, great. Gonna pack up my stuff, go to California. I packed my suitcase and just came back home here to California. And I've been here ever since in quarantine. But I know quarantine has been a very tough time. It's been boring. It's been tough. It's been lackadaisy. I don't know. But I'm just trying to keep myself busy as much as possible. So I'll go through what I've done to keep myself active, keep myself sane, and make a damn video out of it. I probably can't say damn. This is my cat. He came to make a surprise guest appearance. His name is Bob. He's very cute. I've been stuck in quarantine with him, my other cat named Winnie, our dog named Blanco, and our other dog named Luna. This one is weird. Look <laughs> at his face. No, but um, they've been a joy because I obviously don't have pets in New York City. So it's been nice to be in quarantine with these little ones. And he's just really weird. This one likes attention, but only when he wants it. He likes to come at night and just like really lick your ear. It's the weirdest thing ever. He has a weird kink. I don't know. So the first thing I've been doing since quarantine is I've been working out wild. I know. I'm not one to work out on my own. I used to work at a boxing gym in New York City. It's actually right across the street from City Hall Park. So it's very convenient in terms of location. It's called Church Street Boxing Gym. And that gym is no gimmicks, no performances. Like it's the real deal boxing. So you'll get conditioning and the real deal fundamentals of boxing. So I loved it. It like whipped my butt into shape. Plus uh, my dad used to own a boxing gym back in the day. So it was just like bringing me back to my roots. So coming back home, I was very scared and nervous because I need to be active to feel good for my body. So I was very scared because I do not work out on my own. Like it's not, it's not a good deal. It's not good. I, I will stop within five seconds. But what's amazing is that my gym has done Instagram live videos. So it's very convenient to log into Instagram live, to watch their saved video and to do it then or to do it live with the instructor or trainer at hand. So it's been wild in terms of working out during quarantine i've definitely fallen in and out of it but i'll try to post some videos maybe this is like a video of me and my dad i don't know this is like my gym i don't know but i'll post some kind of picture video right here so you guys can see like a little sneak peek of what i've been doing in terms of staying active i also used to run but i hate running so we'll move on to the next thing during quarantine i also have to work so i've been doing virtual tours i'll insert a video or picture here so we are able to do virtual tours on Zoom, just going through a presentation of the campus and then reciting our, you know, um, tour stops in terms of Zoom-like, virtual-like tour stop instead of in-person. It has been very odd because I am the type of person that likes to socialize. I like to crack jokes. I like to talk to the parents in the meantime as I'm walking to the next stop. So having complete silence from the audience has been something that I've had to get used to. But it is such a pleasure and um, I'm very appreciative to have had that opportunity to to be doing virtual tours. California, you would think that I would go out and enjoy the views. However, I'm in the Central Valley of California. And those of you who do not know what the Central Valley it is, it is literally like the crater where like all the farmland is. And it's not super beautiful. So you have to travel to find the beautiful sites. But I've been going to the beach really early in the morning. I've been leaving here at like three or four in the morning and then getting to the beach at like five or six, right when the sun rises. So that's been amazing because no one is there. So yes, I still wear my mask, but like I don't have to be extremely cautious of how far away I'm from anyone because no one is there. Um, so it's a beautiful view, beautiful like to watch the sunrise. I've been collecting seashells, which is something that I never do, never used to do. So that's something that's like kept me occupied while going to the beach and just chilling and sitting there with no one to bother me, watching the sunrise. However, it's very humid in Santa Cruz and 
Davenport where I go so it's not too much of a sunrise but it's still an amazing escape to just get out of the Central Valley funk and to leave the cows behind and to go and see some ocean it has been an amazing amazing relaxing time just to do that and I personally do love driving so that's been fun I'll insert some pictures I don't know if you could see them yeah. it's just did you see it it's beautiful right oh, it's gorgeous I'm a very family oriented person. So being home, I'm always around family. And so it was very difficult when I first came home during quarantine and I had to really isolate myself from my grandmother and my aunts and my uncle for two months. We just stayed in the house for two months and then we decided, okay, we'll go hang out. It's very much a part of the Mexican culture. It's very much part of like my family's personal traditions and culture. So it's been rough, but we've decided to hang out. And so we go over for dinner almost every night. We, we are very careful around who, who we hang out with in terms of if we see any friends, if we go up to the supermarket or, you know, my beach trips or my family trips that we take hiking, we're very cautious of that. So just spending time with my family has been something that has kept me extremely sane because I don't know what I would be doing if I had to stay in this room for four months without my grandmother's cooking. Like I previously talked about going to the beach. I previously talked about hanging out with family. What my family and I have learned to do since quarantine is to go on hikes. We're now the hiking family. So we recently went to Mendocino. It is a town up north. It is a gorgeous small town. And again, we were socially distant, wore masks, and we were able to go on amazing hikes. We climbed amazing rocks. Um, I definitely looked like a city girl. Everyone there was in like hiker gear and, you know, I don't know, very small town wear. And I like showed up in my leather jacket and my booties. So I was sticking out like a sore thumb, but it was still an amazing time to take family trips to small towns or to go on hikes or to go to the beach. So if you're gonna get a breath of fresh air, please do it. It is an amazing time. I'll post some pictures right here so you guys can see where I've been going and what I've been doing. It is so fun. It is so fun, but also so careful. Gotta be careful, y'all. I've been trying to cook. Okay, emphasis on try. Like I'm not the best cook, but since I'm hanging out with my grandma, going with my family to things, I've been trying to, you know, catch on to their cooking habits and it's been rough. That's all I have to say. I've like tried to cook. That, that's it. That's just another part of my quarantine experience that I'm just trying to do new hobbies and new things. Oh, you know what? Okay, in terms of new hobbies and new things to try out, I've also been doing a lot more push-ups. That is besides the fact, but I know a lot of people during quarantine have gathered new hobbies, so push-ups is my new hobby. Also cooking and going to the beach at 3 a.m. That is me in a nutshell right now, currently. In August. So that is probably about it with my quarantine experience. I've been trying to cook. I've been trying to work out as much as possible with my boxing gym. I've been going to the beach. I've been going on hikes. I've been seeing that core group of friends that I genuinely trust with my life because that is what we are doing during this pandemic while we hang out. Um, you know, we've been trying to find the normalcy while I do tours, while I stay with my work schedule and keep up to date with New York City things while being in California. It is just a juggling act at this point of trying to keep the normalcy of the life you used to have while being in this new normal state of the virus. But I want to thank all of you guys for watching this. Hopefully you guys have made it this far. If you have any questions or if you want to reach out to me, I'll have my socials right here, my email and my Instagram, maybe possibly. And then, you know, you reach out to me on there. But I just want to thank you all for watching and have a great day wherever you guys are watching whatever time you're watching have an amazing day amazing time amazing night who knows um but i'll see you guys soon bye